Robert Williams got arrested in his driveway in front of his kids for a crime he didn't commit. Detroit police said facial recognition proved he robbed a Shinola store. One problem, he was at work 30 miles away. Williams spent 30 hours in jail before cops showed him the evidence. A blurry security photo of someone else. The algorithm said it was him. Why? Because facial recognition is wrong on black faces 35% of the time. Follow now, because what Williams discovered in court proves AI is the new stop and frisk. His lawyer subpoenaed Detroit PD's facial recognition data. Court records revealed the software misidentified nearly every suspect. Detroit arrested 200 innocent people based on bad matches last year alone. Almost all were black. Here's what they buried. Amazon, Microsoft, and IBM all stopped selling facial recognition to police in 2020. They knew it was racist, but a company called Clearview AI stepped in. They scraped 3 billion photos from Facebook and Instagram without permission. Now, 600 police departments use it. Williams fought back, sued the city, won $300,000. But during discovery, they found Detroit police run 1,000 faces through the system daily, every single day, most without warrants. The judge's ruling was devastating. The technology is fundamentally flawed for darker skin tones. Translation, it's digital racism. Last week, Williams testified before Congress. He asked one question. How many black men are in prison right now because a computer can't tell us apart? Nobody answered. Stop and frisk was ruled illegal in the streets. Now it's legal in the cloud.